Hello everyone, welcome to Shade Serial Tea. So today guys, I am going to be doing a reading on Lexi. Um, I don't know how to say her last name. I always butcher it, so I'm not going to try. But if you guys don't know who Lexi was, she was a rapper. She was very young when she passed. She just passed, I want to say the 1st of January. I want to say she passed, but I'll have it below. I didn't know much about her, but I do know that she, um, as I, I've been meditating on her energy a lot, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, her energy came through very strongly for me. Um, I want to say the week she first passed, um, her energy came through very strong, and she wanted me to read on her a lot sooner, but I told her, I said, no, like, wait, like, it's not the right time. People are really mourning over you. Kaylani's mourning. I didn't want to rub people the wrong way. So I told her, please wait. She was practically, guys, like, she was eager. Like, she wanted to get a message through. And um, I feel like it is okay to read on her because she did come through for me. The um, I want to say the around the second week she passed, she came through for me um i picked up on a lot from her already now guys they just released the article saying how she passed um i already had connected with her but like i said before and she told me i kept hearing guys now i know what the tabloid said i know they said that she overdosed it was an accidental accidental overdose um where she took like two drugs or something like that um and honestly guys I feel like, I don't know, something in my gut, I have to trust my gut on this and what she told me and I know this is going to be a big shock. I know a lot of people are not going to believe me probably when I say this because of what the tabloids are saying or like if Kehlani comes across my video, um, I know that it will be something that really hurts her to know this but Lexi wanted me to say that it wasn't like yes she was she did take those drugs but it was intentional it was intentional that she took those drugs she um i kept hearing when i was meditating with her and speaking with her i kept hearing her tell me that it was suicide like she did not want to be on this earth anymore and it breaks my heart to hear that i remember when she told me that that whole day guys i kid you not it didn't feel like it was her just partying or it didn't feel like it was just I don't know it didn't feel like it was um it felt very dark it felt very dark and like she just couldn't do it anymore like she as you guys know maybe you you may know or you may not know she um uh she's telling me to touch on this a little bit more about um her mental illness like she and she's very big on her zodiac sign. She loves talking about how she's a Pisces, but she wants me to stay on her Pisces sign for a minute. Um, the thing of, and I already talk about zodiac sign, so she knows I'm like big on that. Um, so people didn't understand her her thought process. Like she had a really, um, she's telling me that she had a really hard time um, living on this earth. Like she had a really hard time learning to adapt like so she would channel a lot of her stuff through her music which did help but a lot of times it wasn't she's telling me that it wasn't enough for her and what which is like she's saying that the thing about being a pisces is that a lot of us self-medicate you know she's saying that to me we also a lot of us self-medicate because we can't deal with what is going on in the in the physical and she's telling me like it was too much for her like she could feel so much sadness and it wasn't even her sadness that she's saying to me that she would take on she literally would take on everyone's sadness that was around her um she had a lot of people that would go to her with their problems and she would try to like seclude herself and like isolate herself but she was very popular in the sense where like she liked to have a good time so like when she would go out like a lot of people knew to call her up like hey hey lexi like come out come out lexi like people she didn't know how to tell people i need to be alone like i need to isolate myself because like she's saying to me that a lot of people would make her feel bad for isolating herself like what's wrong with you what's wrong with you like and she's touching on that she really hopes that her passing um will help people to understand that self-medicating or any type of illness is not like it's not okay to just shoo it under the rug you know she's very she's very much stressing that to me guys i haven't even pulled my cards on 
her yet but she's been wanting to come through and for me to talk about her um her passing because there was a lot of things Alexi is saying to me that people didn't understand about her like or like they wanted she's saying to check up on your friends like check up on everyone that is struggling or you know is having issues because people she would put a smile on her face but people just they just thought that she was okay when she wasn't like she's like I was dying on the inside like I wasn't okay um it's interesting like she's saying that she knew she was reaching a level of some type of like on the verge of being having a breakthrough but she's saying that she would get in her own way it, it was like she was in touch with like her shadow side and her shadow side would visit her a lot in her dreams and she's very intuitive like she's a Pisces and she keeps stressing that she's a Pisces like she's like I'm a Pisces and I she's like and I pick up on so much darkness like around me and she's like I couldn't come to terms with my darkness wasn't my fault all the time and like other people's darkness wasn't meant for me to take on I hope that made sense guys if you're a Pisces you understand what she's saying right guys um, but she didn't know how to, she's saying she didn't know how to separate the two. Like, she didn't know how to separate her darkness from other people's darkness. And she hung around a lot of people that had issues. Like, and she's saying that she wanted to be loved, like, so bad. Like, I pick up, before I picked up on this guy that she was dating, that was very abusive towards her. Um, so I don't know if her close friends know about that. But she's saying that some of them... Okay, she's saying some of them knew about it, but some didn't. Like, she would hide a lot of the problems that they would go through. Um, and when she passed, like, she's saying that she was, like, in a really bad state of mind. Like, she was not okay. Um, so that didn't help that she ended up overdosing. Okay. Um, I don't know why she keeps stressing to me that it was suicide. So the tabloids are saying, guys, the articles about her are saying that she overdosed on um like drugs that she took that night but she's telling me that it was intentional like she's saying that it was intentional like she knew what she was doing and it, it, it it's just so crazy like oh god it's just really upset okay sorry guys um she's thanking me for doing this reading on her guys oh my god she's so sweet you're very sweet, Lexi. Thank you. No, thank you for letting me read on you. Okay. She saw the funeral. Okay. All right, guys. So she's she first is saying to me that she saw the funeral and the concert. She's appreciative that they're raising money for um, her family to put her in the ground um she she's always been very in tune with nature um this doesn't say nature but she's telling me nature like i love nature like i like pulling from nature i like pulling she's so big on nature guys that's so beautiful oh my god let's see she's doing a lot better if any of her family or friends see this or kaylani if you see this she's doing a lot better she's very much in tune with nature um she wants anyone that was really close with her i feel like this is more so towards kehlani i feel like her and kehlani like really bonded over like yeah my ears ringing okay yeah that's what she's saying she's saying that they really bonded over like nature like they would go out and like go to like they would go on walks and she wants kehlani to know that when she looks at a flower, when she looks at the clouds, which doesn't surprise me because I didn't even remember this, guys, but Kay um, not Kaylani, I'm sorry. Lexi is really stressing this. Like, she wants Kaylani to look at nature. Like, look at nature. Like, I'm there. Like, I'm right there with you, okay? She's saying that she's always with anyone that was a big part of her life, um, including Kaylani was a big, big part of her life, which... Um, I do want to give Kaylani closure with Lexi, so hopefully Lexi will let me into that, but if she doesn't, that's okay. Um, I want to respect that. Um, she's learning to take care of herself better. She's She didn't take care of herself 
while she was here in the physical. Um, guys, I know I keep stressing this, but Lexi keeps telling me it was suicide. Like she just wasn't, she didn't want to be here anymore. Like she didn't want to be here anymore. Oh my God. Okay. Um, sadness and isolation is in the reverse. She doesn't feel that way anymore. But she did feel that way when she was here. So that is telling me right then, then and there. She did not like. She hated being on this earth guys. She hated it. Like she appreciated every connection she made. But it was like. She's saying to me like she couldn't shake this feeling of feeling lost. Or like alone. She's saying that it's nobody's fault, okay? She doesn't want anyone to blame themselves for how she felt. She would use her... She liked writing out in nature, too. Um, she's learning to reconnect with her ancestors and her mother. Wow. She's saying even in the spiritual, she's still writing. She loves to write. Like, she's still writing. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> she loves it. There is a lot of guilt she's feeling. She feels like she was very selfish. Like, she feels very selfish. Like, she's still trying to let go of that. Like, she knows what she did was wrong. But... And she knows she hurt. She knows she hurt a lot of people in the process. But it's like, Lexi's saying to me she couldn't escape her darkness. Like, it was just too much. Like, she doesn't know why they're, t they're saying, well, she's a little lost as to, she's saying don't believe the tabloids. Don't believe the tabloids. They, they, they don't have all the facts. They didn't really care. She's like, it's funny how when, ugh, wow, she's deep. She's like, it's funny when someone passes, how they all of a sudden people want to care. She's not saying that to people that she cares about. She's saying that to like the outside world because she's really trying to get people to like listen. And a lot of her rap music, a lot of her music was about, was about that. She's saying was about, hmm. Wow. I didn't really listen to her music guys like that. I only heard her on that song Jealous with Kehlani. But she's saying that a lot of the things that she rapped about was about that. Was about mental illness. Was about life. Was about like she she's like so deep guys. Like she's deep. Like oh my god. I love it. Mm. You're so deep. Wow. She's such a Pisces you know. She wants me to touch on the fact that she, again, like, she doesn't want anybody blaming themselves. Like, she just, she's saying, don't believe the tabloids. And she's saying, it's funny how, like, when people pass, that's when people want to, you know, like, care. And she's, like, really upset about that. She's, like, so hurt. Because she reached out so many times for people, but no one listened to her. So that's why she turned to her journal. That's why she rapped a lot. Um... Kaylani was there, you know, there were people around her that were there and she's appreciative, but there were also other people that she really needed and she's not blaming anyone, but she's saying, y'all, y'all saw the signs. Like I wasn't okay. You know, I wasn't okay. She loves you guys. Anyone that really supported her, her fans, anyone that truly rocked with her. She doesn't want me to, like, stay on the negative, but she's saying thank you. Thank you to anyone that really rocked with me, that really cared about me. I see you. She's saying, I see y'all. I see y'all. That's what I keep hearing. I see y'all. She loves you guys. She wants... Okay. She's stressing about this. Okay. So she wants you guys to learn to love people better. She's saying, stop brushing people under the rug. People that, um... Um, she's saying, please stop brushing people under the rug. People that you know 
reach out wow beautiful beautiful lexi she's saying y'all need to learn to reach out when you see somebody in trouble she she's saying there's a little like annoyance there she's saying when y'all see people in trouble reach out when you guys see people doing something and you know it's not right care about that person it doesn't take long or it doesn't take much to care she's very adamant she this isn't me guys she wants you well, of course not but she wants you guys to know that like this it doesn't take much to like reach out it doesn't take much to like extend a helping hand to show people that you care like be a leader that's what she was all about like Lexi was all about leading you know she really wanted to make that um a thing you know what I'm saying like she really wanted people to understand that it doesn't like she walked in this physical life about like she was all about that you know and it really upset her when people wouldn't do that you know and she still sees it going on and she's like upset about it you know um she's like, i ain't got nothing else to say but that like just reach out care about other people it doesn't take much it doesn't take much to lead in caring hmm Oh my god, this is beautiful. I know Kehlani likes butterflies. I keep getting that Kehlani needs to pay attention to um, butterflies or um, anybody with a connection of... Like, she's saying that... Okay, this is making sense now. She Exactly what I said, guys. Clarity of belief. Um, she She's saying that the truth isn't being said. The truth isn't being said. That's exactly, guys, what I was saying. What I was hearing her say that they got it wrong and they're lumping her in with people that had passed that day that she passed um i'm sure they did an autopsy she did take drugs but she's saying that that's not what they're saying was not they don't even have the exact i read one article about it and it didn't it just seemed weird to me like i don't know it seemed like a lot of facts were missing and she's like yeah they want her to investigate they want they want Sorry, what am I trying to say, guys? Sorry, she's talking to me. Um, She wants them to investigate her death more because that will help people understand. Like, there are, like, by investigate, like, there were, um, like, go to her room. Like, go to her, where she would stay, like, her house. Like, she's saying that there were signs. Like, she's saying that, it, no, like, they're not, they're just focusing on drugs. Like, of course. Like, she's, uh, she's angry. She's really upset about that. Like, because she's saying that like as a society we only focus on people doing drugs and we're like she's like oh so that must be why um she's saying that they don't f sorry Lexi I'm sorry speak slow I'm sorry <laughs> she's not getting mad at me but I'm like hold on hold on okay she's saying okay she's saying guys um they she wants them to investigate her death more because in her journal, in her, or anybody that was close close with her, anyone that knows her, please go to her room. Please go to the house she stayed at. Um, she hopped from house from home to home, but there were there was this one. I don't know if it was her aunt's house. I'm hearing aunt or grandma, um, an older lady's um, house. She would stay at, and she would write there. Like she felt safe there. So she's saying for someone to go there to figure out what state of mind she was in because she's saying like they're like oh she just took a drug and that was it and she overdosed like it was an accidental overdose like she's saying that it was so much more to that and that they always equate it to that they never she's really angry about that like she's saying they never investigate more they're just always like oh it was an overdose oh they just died because of drugs you know she's saying no there was more to that there's more to that so anyone that's close with her she's really stressing this guys so i hope this is resonating um she's she wants you guys to look into who she like look into her stuff more for anyone that is like i guess like kaylani or people that are close with her please look into her stuff like that will tell you how she was feeling and what was going on in her mind Okay, so let's see if she has a message for Kehlani. Let's see. Oh my god, stop. 
Kehlani, um, I hope this video doesn't upset you, but I'm trying not to cry, guys. Um, Lexi loves you. This came out. This, this isn't proof, okay? Like, she's, you're her heart. Like, I keep hearing her say, um, Kehlani, you're my heart. You're my heart. Like, please don't blame yourself. Um, you didn't know. Um, you knew a little bit of what she was going through. She's stressing, like, you knew a little bit. But she really didn't tell you everything um, because she didn't want you to worry. She didn't like people worrying about her. Um, and she felt, too, I'm hearing her say that she felt she had it under control. She felt she had it under control. She's saying, uh, Kehlani, um, that there was nothing you could have done. She didn't want handouts. She didn't want anything. She... Yes, she liked people being there, but she felt like she could handle it herself, which she is stressing. You know who, you know how stubborn I was. You know I was very stubborn. You know I, I was kind of like weird and the, she's saying that like, I was kind of weird in the way I like showed affection. Like I was, I came off very tough, but I was a big, big baby. She's saying that like, Kehlani, I guess knows this. I don't know guys, this isn't for me to know but Kehlani she's saying that you know that she was a big baby and that she act like she didn't need a hug when she really did and you know how Pisces she was and <laughs> oh god yeah she's pointing me to the heart she's saying that her heart she felt like her heart was dark she felt like her heart was dark. That's a heart. I don't know if you guys could see that. And if Kehlani sees this heart, heart. She's She's also like, guys, like this heart, it keeps coming out. Like she's like, you're my heart. You're my heart, Kehlani. You're my heart. Uh, she's saying that she's thankful for everything you taught her. Um, she, like she's very appreciative of our, of, of, she's saying I'm very appreciative of our moments. You know what they were. Um, uh, wow. She feels like she let you down. She feels like she let you down, Kehlani. Oh my god. She's getting really emotional, I'm sorry. Um, she's still holding on to that. Or maybe you feel like you let her down. She's saying you didn't let her down. She's saying she feels like she let you down. Because she always wanted you to see her stronger than how she felt. Okay, Lonnie, she wants you to keep doing what you're doing. She wants you to keep leading. Keep leading the people. Like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, you're hell of a teacher. You're so wise. She's saying you're so wise beyond your years. And... She really appreciates everything you taught her, but please don't feel like you didn't help her enough because you did. I mean, you may feel like you were really busy and you could have been there more for her is what she feels you're feeling, but she's saying no. Like, she needed to do this on her own. She's like, you know how stubborn I am. Like, please stop blaming yourself. Like, keep doing what you're doing. Keep leading the people like you're doing. She's saying you're doing a good job. She wants you to let go of control. Um, she knows that you're still holding on to things, Kehlani, and to let it flow. Like, let your emotions flow through your music. And you've taught her so much how to write emotionally through um, her music. That's who she... She's like, I learned from the best. Like, you really taught me how to emotionally get everything out and that you don't control a damn thing. Like, you don't control anything. The universe takes you when they're ready, you know, and she's seeing that now. And she really appreciates your moments that you both, her and you both have. And she loves you. She really, really loves you. Um, She feels, though, like you're still blocking her a little bit. She wants to come through more, Kehlani, so please open up your spirit more to her. And when she knows when you're ready, when you're not hurting so much, she wants you to receive her more, okay? But she's stressing that she loves you. She's very appreciative of your, the moments you both, you and her both had together. And 
you know, um, look for her in nature, which I'm sure you already know. Uh, Kehlani, look for her in nature and keep doing what you're doing. Keep leading the people. Keep leading. She keeps stressing that. Keep leading. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job. Like, keep leading the people. And also, she's saying that, um, she's so proud of you. Like, she's so proud of you and she keeps watching you and she's so proud. And um, and lastly, Kehlani, she wants you to know that she loves how big a day is getting and she can't wait to see a day grow to be so big and strong and talented like her mama like i'm hearing her say that and she really loves you like please she's saying begging you like please don't hold anything um she's saying that nobody really could help her nobody could really save her other than herself and she doesn't blame anybody so don't blame yourself she's saying i don't know if she talked like that but that's what i'm hearing um yeah, yourself. I don't know why I, hear, I heard her say it like that, but let me know, guys. Does she talk like that? I don't know. Um, but she's going to be with you, and she's with all of her family. She She's praying for all of her family, so she's trying to heal. She's such a healer, too. Like, Lexi was such a healer, and she wants to heal everyone that's hurting over her. And, you know, she's really excited to see Nipsey. Um, she, I feel like I felt that instantly that she wanted to see Nipsey, like... And the thing, too, like, she really wanted me to read on her, guys, because she liked my reading on Nipsey, too. Um, I guess she watched it. I honored. Thank you, Lexi. Um, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. Thank you so much, Lexi. I hope anyone that watches, um, this reading, thank you, Lexi, for coming through. Anyone that watches this reading on her gets something out of it. Um, Kehlani, if you happen to see my reading, I wanted her to do this reading on her for you as well because she wanted me to speak through her um to you and to anyone else that really rocked with her um she was stressing that there were some people that didn't really like care and she doesn't she's not holding hate towards them but she wants this message to be for the people that really rocked with her and she um really appreciates the concert that they're gonna have for her and the funeral that happened um she was there and she saw it and she will be there at the concert and Kehlani she's always with you anyone that really was you know I don't know anyone else that was close with her but she knows and she's saying to you guys as well I just say Kehlani because I know that Kehlani was really close with her um and I'm aware of Kehlani being close with her. But anyone else that was really close with her, anyone that was her family that rocked with her, that really stood by her, um, you know, there was a lot of things that Lexi battled here on this earth. And she's not blaming anybody for her death. She just, oh God, I hope this doesn't rub people the wrong way, but I have to take a chance. And Lexi, I hope that this message was what you wanted to come through. I pray that you're gonna be able to fully transition and um, my prayers go out to Kehlani, my prayers go out to her family and I do this in the best spirits and that's why Lexi came through because she knows that my heart is good. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, please pray for everybody that was a part of Lexi's life. Um, and let's keep praying for Lexi to transition and to fully heal and to be, you know, Adea's angel um, anyone else's angel that will accept Lexi and her family in her family um, and so on and so forth okay guys so I hope you guys like this reading on Lexi and um, anyway guys love and light um, and namaste